So, Gord, what do you what do you think about what we got well, up here right now? We're in the sixth floor. Of this Surrey looks city like Hall. the city of the future. Is that right? And when you look at SkyTrain winding through there, the yes, buildings, sir. the landscape, and the change, the speed of change, amazing. Because this is a, a case where you know a vision is being realized after, well, a break. I mean, Surrey never, Surrey Center never really did develop in the way that people thought it would after SkyTrain came across. Uh, it was a, a spurt, and then it seemed to stop. Uh, but uh, for me, what really made the difference, and I think for for Surrey, was the decision to move City Hall here. That said it all. If uh, the leadership of the community was prepared to make a controversial political decision to move City Hall away from the center of the municipality up to this corner of it, that was a signal that so many others needed to make this investment. Uh, and then to do it with a pretty powerful design. This combination of having two anchors, SFU and Surrey Central City. Right. Well, if you talk to commercial realtors, they'll tell you eds and meds are the secret these days. Research in medicine and education, that's what cities are for. Um, there's been so much technological change, but you still need to bring people together for those purposes, education and medicine. And if they're uh, kind of essential anchors, yes, sir. employment anchors, well, look, you've got it here. Um, education and medicine, innovation boulevard, technology clusters, a combination of residential. What's missing, you know? There's a lot of great restaurants. That's right. It amazes me. In fact, if I had the, the nightlife, money, the nightlife, I would invest in a, a great restaurant here. I Sounds get in good. Early. Sounds good. But what that tells you is, you, you know, you have confidence in the future that even if the people aren't here, yeah, they're coming. Excellent. That, uh, if this is not a fully formed public space, sure. it's got all of the basics to be one. So now's a, my recommendation. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Invest now. <laughs> Should we go meet your old friend Bob Williams now? My old friend indeed. Me too. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, Just tell me about like, you know, what you were thinking when you and Bing sat down at the table with, with Gordon and you know when you when you thought of this this building. Well we were convinced that uh, there was a huge potential out here and that it would die would be a dynamo for creating a town center. Yes, sir. Everybody thought we were nuts. Yes, sir. Everybody thought we were nuts. But here we are, and uh, our $250 million investment out here has generated $4 billion. Yes, so sir. It just also, what it, the interesting thing is, it shows you what a smart crown corporation can do. Yes, sir. ICBC changed Surrey. I, I, think, I think it actually reflects Bing, and I said to him, I think it also reflects uh, an Asian consciousness. I don't think he liked that, but I've wandered around here in the evening and at night, and it reminds me of Asian sculpture in many ways. And the beautiful mix that British Columbia is with uh, all of our eth ethnic groups. Uh, yes, sir. So for this uh, community, it's a natural. Okay. And uh, it changed everybody's perception of Surrey overnight. They traded their beaver yes, sir. for my beaver. There you go. Uh, <laughs> this is a beautiful uh, building, Bob. Yeah, did, did you know that the glazing here was unique and was originated by our glazers working with Bing? Is that right? And Smith. So they learned how to twist the glass here to the point where it was an export skill of wow. British Columbia. Wow, this is stunning. You can see that right here. Yeah. And this looks a little bit busier here now than yeah. the big hustle bustle it's turning into a metro city. It's, it's getting there, yeah. We need to complement with, with another plaza on the other side that links into the SkyTrain station. And, uh, then it'll start uh, really popping. Excellent. Should we go upstairs? Sure. All so right. we're going to the top with Gordon Price and Bob Williams. Stunning. Yeah. Just move the cars. Well, you won't move them. Uh, the key is to give people enough choices and alternatives. They live close enough to where they walk, shop, play. Yeah. Uh, they stop driving as much, and then that land becomes incredibly valuable. All you have to do is spend $250 million and you turn a suburban commercial slum into a dynamo. Yes. The real secret of the success here is we had crowns in British Columbia that knew what they were doing and were bold and transformed this community. And nobody quite gets it. Well, that's nope. not exactly true. Uh, you see what's happening at Oak Ridge, at Brentwood, it's going to happen at Mohi. Oh, indeed. The private sector followed us. Exactly. And so the crowns were the risk takers to yeah. show them how. And the crown or government had to provide the transit and the planning That's to right. make it work. Because if you need that parking, 
if your leaseholders demand the parking, course. there's no argument. That land is going to be used for cars. Yeah. All right, we're in the 25th floor. This is exciting. Well, this is great. So this is the future here, Bob. This, this will eventually go all the way to SFU yeah. as a pedestrian promenade um, once these other uh, things are worked out. So um, the mayor wanted to have a hotel as part of this the request for proposals that we responded to. And uh, we were the only proponent to come back with an with a integrated right. concept. Right. So with our Marriott internet. So the Marriott autograph collection is here on this right hand side with a rooftop function space. And then here is where all the, the, the fitness center, all the plenary spaces, so the ballrooms are underneath here and all the remaining rooms here. And then this is our grand ballroom which will have the entrance to all of the all of the um, uses of the building. So that was kind of a a key innovation, rather than creating separate entrances for all the pieces, integrated into one kind of social space, as it were. So the residential tower starts at floor 15, and then goes all the way up to the 52nd story. So quite tall. And, um, and what sort of scale are, are most of the units? They are, well that's a very interesting question that has to do with based on the building technology. So mm -hmm. a lot of high rises are built around kind of a, a, a spine, if yeah. you will, like yeah. our bodies, and yeah. the floors come off like our rib cages. Yeah. Well, this doesn't do that. This is what uses something called a shear wall technology. So think of a door frame, that's a shear wall concept. So our building is basically a big door frame, and because of that, our we have more space inside of the building. Right. So it's more efficient. Right, more efficient, and we have larger, generally percentage larger square footage than you might get in any other high rise that has. Way more. Yeah. So I don't know what the percentage would be, but between 10 and 20 percent more space, depending on. The other thing that we built in is the the technology. This is what's called a district energy system or a local energy system. And what it does is it harvests heat waste, if you will, right. from different parts of the building at different times of the day. Mm -hmm. So during the day, you're going to have Kwantlen and you're going to have Montel generating heat. We're going to harvest that and in the evening redistribute it wow. to the residents. That's so, sweet. so this system, I don't have a phone. Well, then if you hook into the city's geothermal system yeah. underneath the plaza, the, the, the highest percentage of our buyers are owner-occupiers, mm -hmm. which is, you think there might be more investment, but yeah. people really want to live at, at the city center. Okay. Oh, there. I'm just going to ask you to really be careful not to... Oh, sure. Trip. Absolutely. Stunning. Look at this. We are at the top. The hotel side, we're already kind of almost at grade, is what yep. you call it. Yeah. So grade, ground level. And then you can see the uh, residential piece in the Grand Lobby is just starting to come up to grade. So the presentation center, which you can see there on King George, will be closing on Sunday. But, uh, you can kind of see the, the distance between the two. Sure, sure. But if you think about it from a sense of, you know, how, regardless of ICBC's influence, but Mayor Watts' vision, you can see that we've got a palette here in city center that we haven't even dab the paint in really. Kind of, this is the yeah. before shot. Yeah. I just want to live long enough to see how this all works out. Right. You can see pretty much everything from there. You can see all the way to downtown Vancouver. And we're on the, on the 25th floor. That's going to have 52 stories. So, so how do you like your new office, David? Love it. So David, you guys moved from Delta uh, yes. From Tawasin Delta yeah. uh, to the Surrey City Center, and you're you're headquartered now here at the top of this tower. You must see something special here in in, in Surrey. Well, I, I think the the key thing has to do with our with the culture of our business. Yes. We just need to be in a place that doesn't feel like a, a suburb. Yes, that's <laughs> we, right. We're, by leading by design, we need to be able to have that that position in the market. We're kind of this mixed use of the mixed use type of developer. So. If you just look at Three Civic Plaza, it's it's a hotel, it's a restaurant, it's a cafe, it's retail, it has a gym, it has a, a yoga studio, and a residential tower with a district energy utility in it. That's no mixed use. Yeah, there's offices. So KPU, the, other side, the yeah. KPU has the 
first two floors, and then we have two more floors for, for that type of commercial activity. Well, we'll have projects at every SkyTrain station. So if you you can see over there with the yellow and black, yep. that City Point. Yes, sir. That was our first project. It is still the largest LEED certified residential project in the province of BC. Yes. And then we have Three Civic Plaza at, at, at um, Central City. And yep. then we have Holland Point, which yes. we have for, right next to, to um, uh, King George Street. Excellent. And David, that will have a, an office component to it as well? Yeah. Excellent. So you guys are really bringing together the whole office commercial use and residential as and the amenities. You And we may introduce some more things in the future, which I can't talk to you about. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. We're excited to hear about them. Great. So want to see the other side? Sure. Yes. Okay, so we're going into the other side of the balcony here. Let's see here. It's a pretty clean. You can see all the way down. Yeah, Metro Town is pretty clear. Metro Town, yeah. But, uh, Follow the Sky Train. I love the Sky Train. This is an absolutely beautiful deck. This is gorgeous. Yeah, downtown is the far one you can kind of see. This is the city of the transit built. This is it. Surrey is in the dead center of the Metro Vancouver region, and it, it, Surrey will be that hub. You know, certainly Vancouver will, will have you know what it has, but Surrey will become a real hub for this region. It, it yeah. was it was challenging, however, when we began the construction of the building. We had to sink 14 giant columns to to hold it, and there was a, a lower peat bog underneath it, so we had to go through the peat bog to build up. When yeah. you consider the um, Caribou Wagon Road? Yeah. Yale. Yale Road. Old yeah. Yale Road. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, it. Right that's it right there. Yeah. yeah, so the origins of British Columbia are. Yeah, yeah that right wagon there. trail right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And They go all the way through Langley and. Yeah, right through yeah. the valley up right to the valley. Yale. It's the reason we're not uh, talking Yank. Ha! <laughs> uh, yes, sure. it, 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 it was effectively the border. Yeah, yeah. Well, if the British hadn't established uh, <laughs> their primacy here, there's no question the American. I think the Americans would. This is ours now. All right. Well, we're excited to be at the top of Central City, uh, Century Group headquarters. We're with the wonderful David, marketing manager here for Century Group. Thank you, David. Thank you so much for the tour. Gord, Bob. Okay.